It is time now to throw all caution to the wind. You may feel that this sounds irresponsible and what we invite you to realize is that you're all too responsible at times. Right now in this moment we ask you to throw all caution to the wind and just stand in the light of your being. And if it is challenging for you to stand in the light of your being, meaning if it is challenging for you to find this light of your being, to stand in, then we would ask you to pretend. Seriously, we ask you to pretend, to pretend or to practice is too strong, to imagine. We ask you to pretend and imagine that you are standing in the light of your being. Close your eyes and literally imagine yourself standing in a beam, a beacon of light that extends forth from inside you, surrounding you, infinitely beaming forth. This light that you are imagining to beam forth from within you is the light of your being, and it is not your imagination, but oh, it's too soon, it's too soon to tell you that, isn't it? So go on now, just pretend, imagine. Continue to pretend and imagine that within you, in the heart center of your being, the very core of your being, is actually an illuminated light source. And that illuminated light source continues to beam forth, shining so brightly that those who surround you may feel blinded by the light. Imagine that. Pretend that. And as you pretend that this is a reality, that this is your reality, believe that it is so. So, yes, we are inviting you to pretend to such a degree that you can believe that this is the true reality. And do not stop pretending, do not stop imagining until you start laughing so hard at this fun game that we are inviting you toward because you will realize that it never was pretending in the first place. It never was your imagination. You are indeed this light beam, this beacon of light, this light force shining forth to infinity and beyond. In fact, infinity is what charges this light of your being. It is what it is sourced of. And why are we inviting you to play this game with us, to pretend, to imagine? Well, the reason is because you take everything so seriously and you surround yourself with that, those things that call you toward what you consider to be your responsibility, your obligations. And we invite you to recognize that in the light of your being, there is no such thing. In the light of your being, everything that surrounds you as far as things that you are to do, to take part in, to become, are all guided by that light within you. So when the light within you is shining forth so brilliantly, the path before you also is illuminated and all that you are to do becomes illuminated in that path and becomes part of the light of your being and the path forward is so obvious. So if you are finding that the path before you is not as obvious as you would choose it to be, then what we would invite you to do is shine more of your own light on the path. And if you are not able to know exactly how to navigate that, then come and pretend some more. Pretend and imagine some more. Bring yourself into this beam, this beacon of light that you are, and beam it forward. And in the beaming forward, all will be illuminated. We know we make it sound so simple, and you make it all too difficult more often than not. It is more simple than you can even imagine, truly. Certainly it is more simple than you give yourselves credit for. Just be simple in the light. That's all. Become simple in the light. Pretend, imagine, and become simple in the light. Allow it to be easy. Easy. Do you understand? 
for too many what you consider to be days now, for too much of what you consider to be this time, time, space, reality. You've all been taking things a bit too seriously. You've been feeling such heavy, weighted intensity. And we are inviting you towards something lighter, something less heavy, you understand. We want you to feel the lightness of being so that you can tap yourselves into the joy of your being more frequently. It is not always about figuring something out. In your minds, you are continuously attempting to figure it out. Figure this out, figure that out. I wonder how I could figure this out. And the thing is, it is not the mind that figures anything out. Too often you put your mind in charge of such things and in reality it is not the mind who is in charge of this job. It is the heart, it is the light, it is the soul of your being that is the true navigator. So we invite you to remember this as well. Allow yourself to be free of figuring it out. There is nothing to figure out. Now feel it out, that we would invite. Feel it out, feel into it. Navigate by your emotional barometer. What is it that your emotions are telling you? What is it that your emotions are calling you toward? Feel deeply into what is it that your emotions are calling you toward. This can be a mixed bag, as you call it. There are many, many emotions. And for you to really know and recognize what it is that you are feeling, you have to sift and sort through this mixed bag of emotions that you are experiencing. And in this bag, there may be emotions that are feeling less than mm, a vibration that you want to repeat. There may be emotions that do feel heavy, that slow you down, that weigh you down. These emotions need attention also in the sense that we need to say, why is it that I am feeling this particular emotion and what is it that I would more likely choose to be feeling if it were my choice? And then we invite you to recognize that it is always your choice. So look around in that bag, sift and sort, sort through this bag, this mixed bag of emotion and look for the emotions that feel lighter, that feel brighter, that feel freeing. And especially now in this time-space reality, we invite you to look for emotions that allow you to feel even a little bit frisky, a little bit daring, a little bit excited. Always on the high vibration side of things, we invite you to pull these emotions forward and allow them to carry you into the momentum of forward moving motion and forward moving creation. Be playful. This is why we invited you to pretend and to imagine. We want you now to be playful. This is a time to play. Too much seriousness has been happening, and we want you to lighten up. We want you to play. We want you to bask in the deliciousness that surrounds you, and if you do not see enough deliciousness surrounding you, then we invite you to create some. Let go and play. Trust that in the joyful nature of your playful spirit, more light will beam forth from within you because this is the true navigational pull of the heart source. Your source infinite nature is steeped well in joy, is steeped well in play. And it is in this joyful, playful place that you find the path that your heart is most calling you toward. And even in the mundane daily details of that which surrounds you in this thing called life, this thing of daily responsibilities, there's that word again, responsibilities. See if you can pretend yourself into being joyful in these responsibilities. See if you can imagine yourself into enjoying these daily details, these daily tasks, and just allow yourself to be more playful in them. 
How could you do that? What might you change about the way that you carry yourself through your daily motions in this time-space reality of now so that everything that you do has a more joyful, a more playful bent to it? Lean into joy. Lean into your playful nature. Allow your spirits to be set free, to be uplifted. And allow the light of your being to shine forth as it has not yet done. You have had light-filled days. You have had days where you are beaming brighter than you've ever felt yourself to beam before. And we are inviting you to the recognition that you have not even begun to tap into the full essence of the light being that you are. So consider those moments, those days, when you have noticed that you are shining bright, so bright, and consider that that is only a fraction of what is possible. And feel eagerly energized and friskily anticipatory around the idea of feeling even more lit up. Become the light of your being, joyfully, playfully. Allow yourself to expand into your frisky nature. Remember what it was as a child when you had this great idea and your mind was reeling with imaginative play and you couldn't wait to Bring these imaginative ideas into the physical reality that surrounded you. Meaning, you just were going to make imagination real. And as a child, you did this continuously. Your imagination was your reality. There were no hard lines of delineation between them. Your imagination was your reality. And the more you imagined it, the more real it became. This is a simple truth. Can you remember it? Can you remember allowing yourself to be in this sort of flow of creativity? This is what we are inviting you toward now. As a child, you had much wisdom. And as you've grown into the adults that you are, some of that wisdom that seemed like childish play now to you, that wisdom is what we invite you to bring yourselves back toward. Because indeed, when you allow yourselves to play imaginatively, to allow your imagination to run free and to play in the reality of your imagination more, that is what becomes your reality. So what is it that you are imagining? Are you imagining the absolute best? Or are you imagining the absolute worst? See, we guarantee you that your mind is always at work imagining something. So what would happen if you became a part of that co-creational force of imagination that is always alive and well within you, and you became consciously aware of what it is that your mind is imagining, and you became playful and joyful and frisky in the imagining, and you encouraged yourself toward imagining something so brilliant something so amazing, something that feels so vibrationally right in every cell of your being. You imagine yourself toward that. And in your imagination, you can see it so clearly and you can feel it so clearly that you literally become that. And you start to see surrounding you exactly that which you have been imagining. 
Because you see, this is always how it works. What is happening in your looks as if reality that surrounds you in every single moment, we promise you, is something that you have imagined into being. So become the conscious navigator. Be playful, be joyful in your imaginings and consciously create on the imaginal landscape of your being what it is that you want to be real in your physical reality. It is this simple. Be playful. Be the joy that you are in the light of your being. And imagine greatness and carry that forward into the world by knowing that your imagination creates your reality. This is our greatest invitation to you. Imagine the light of your being. Stand in the full light of your being. Shine forth. Allow the light of your being to illuminate all that is before you. And in that allowance, imagine greatness. Give it all of the frilly details that you wish it to have. And then walk forward into this imagined reality that is now real in your physical experience. This is all you need to do. And we are your greatest cheerleaders cheering you on forevermore. Just remember, the more conscious you become of what it is that you are imagining across the imaginal landscape of your mind space reality is what becomes real. Enjoy. Shine forth now. Enjoy. Play. Be free. Be the light. Create your greatness. You are a child of the universe. We are the voice of the cosmic soul. Together we are one. Living this infinite reality. In the light of love. And so it is.